If you are owner of multiple pharmacy business and want to check all accounts and inventories in one place, then Retailgraph Pharmacy Business Software is the best solution for you. Retailgraph is a leading pharmacy business management software that offers a diverse range of functions for all size of businesses. Retailgraph is designed and developed for the pharmacy business. It provides a simple billing solution. Along with this, it also gives you options like SMS and email marketing. It allows pharmacy business owners to track business growth smartly. So let's know in detail about Retail Pharmacy Business Software. First of all, log in by clicking on the icon in the Retail Graph. Then the default username and password in the software is Admin. Also you can create username and password according to you. So let's enter here now. In such a situation, you will have a screen like this after logging in. Let us tell you that the software is Windows based. Its backend is on SQL and the frontend is on .NET Framework. It is entirely a desktop based application software. Let us tell you that multiple windows are available here. The user can choose the window according to them. So as soon as you log into your software, some shortcuts on the desktop are showing with logging into the software. Here's what we have created that is regularly needed on a daily basis. You can make shortcuts to the upcoming icons on the desktop. Here all types of options are given in the menu bar on the upper side like sales, purchase, inventory, receipt, payments, accounts, GST, view, report, analysis, master, options, tools, help and exit and multiple options are also available in these tabs. You can also enable and disable the options you want. Here we can talk about the features in the software and how does it work. The first menu we'll see here is the sales menu. Suppose you click on the sales menu, all options related to sales are available here like sales invoice, sales order, sales chalan, sales credit note, sales debit note, invoice summary. If you want, you can also create a shortcut icon by right clicking on the option and then clicking on the desktop. If you click on purchase, then you will see options related to purchase like purchase invoice, purchase order, purchase chalan, purchase return, purchase debit note. Here comes the third option of inventory. In the inventory option, suppose someone has work in multiple locations then he can do the work of reconciliation of stock from here like issue location transfer, receive location transfer, reconcile current stock, shortage or surplus, opening stock entry. The fourth option is receipt. Receipt option mainly works for customers. In case a customer requests you for a credit purchase and later than you want to check those payments along with the due amount of customer, you can check this in the receipt section. You can also view receivables, marketing group and customer outstanding reports according to the agents in this section. Or if you want to view marketing group wise outstanding, you can accordingly get outstanding of customers. Then the same as the customers features is in the receipt section. Similarly, the same feature will be shown to you in the payments and vendor section. Like if you want to purchase in credit from any party and make payments later, then here the option can be seen. If you want to make a payment, click on the payment option or to see the parties outstanding that which party has to pay how much amount or if you want to see payable and payable aging, then you can check the reports. If you want to make multiple payment entries, then you can also do it by clicking on the payment entry. Here the next option is of accounts. In the account section we can enter official expenses like bank reconciliation, journal voucher, receipt voucher, payment voucher, contra voucher, payment registration and more. And also account related options are available here. The next option is GST. Here you will see available data of GST in the government standard format. 
You can also export the data in the same format the government website has given. Here you can get the GST summary data by clicking on the GST summary data option. If you want to use the offline tool, you can export GST data into Excel and CSV files here with the offline tool. Here comes the next option of GST forms for GSTN. Here options are available if you want to fill out return or if you want to export the form then you can export through JSON files like R1, R2 and more. If you want to generate any database, the option of generate is also available like generate transfer data or export. Also, if you have to return through GST return Carvi, then here the option of Carvi is also available through which you can fill the bill of GST. If you want to auto generate eWay bills, then the option of eWay bills is available here also. If you want to generate e-invoice, then the option of e-invoice is also available here. The next option is view. In this option, you can select any particular thing or if you want to see the complete history of the product, any customer or the vendor from the beginning to the end, you can also view its complete information from here. Also, if you want to see graphical reports, you can view them by clicking on the MIS view button. Similarly, if you have to do transaction query, stock, refer by query or barcode reprint and more, then you can do it from here. Now the next option comes of reports. You can view all types of reports here from the report section. On whichever option you click, in the reports menu, the related report will be shown to you like sales report, purchase report, transaction report, account report, inventory report, profit report and more. If you click on the sales report, then all the reports related to sales will be shown here like product wise, sales transaction, daily report, checklist, salesperson wise and more. The same by clicking on the purchase, all the reports related to the purchase will be shown. The transaction status report will show you all the details related to the transaction. Here you can check credit note, purchase order status, chalan status or order status. With this, you can also check all types of status. Next option is account reports. All the accounting reports can be seen here from the account report option. Here all the options are available like daybook, ledger display, general ledger, trial balance, trading account, balance sheet and more. Now coming to the inventory report section. In sales report, you can easily view or generate reports related to stock like sales and stock, sales and stock summary, stock details, stock summary, non-moving items, expiry details, near expiry goods purchase or reorder detail generate and more. If you want to generate reorder or check product wise stock transfer, stock ledger, adjustment report based on minimum quantity, then all these options are available in the inventory report. After this comes the profit report. With this, the profit of sale or purchase you make will be shown to you from the profit report month wise, date wise, customer wise, product wise, invoice wise and current wise. After this, if you want to view any schedule report like SMS, daily summary report, you can check from here. Next comes the option of analysis. Analysis option acts as a basic report writer. In case if you have to customize any report, then you can also do that from here. Just like you can create an Excel sheet or pivot table, you can create all these options here as well. The next option is masters. The masters option is the software's main part. In this, you can create masters like to create a product or a customer. If you want to create a vendor, then you can do it from the customer or vendor option. You can create bank, refer by, refer by vendor, area allocation and more from here. And if you want to create the same product, then you can do it from the inventory option. Here more options are available like product category, tax category, marketing group, product attribute, 
stock location, HSN and more you can create it from here. Now click on accounts. From here you can create account group, ledger account and more. Also from the location option, if you want to create a zone, region, area, state and more can be created. You can create any employee, department, designation, role and more from the resources option. With this, which rights have to be given to the users from here or which location to assign, all the roles and rights can be set for the user from here. With other option, you can run any promotional scheme like sale promotion, purchase promotion, etc. Or if you want to create any head in the billing head like in sales or purchase or if you want to add any value then you can do it from here. If you want to make changes in the transaction series or create multiple branches then you can do it with the branch option. Sales discount master can also be created from here. After this if you want to take backup of any data from the options menu then you can take it by clicking on the data backup here. Then from the log report, you can check which user has deleted or modified the report. All this generates a log report from which you can view the logs option. Click on system maintenance to access all the facilities of maintenance. The option of parameters is given in the system default from which you can make changes. If you want to export or import any data from the Excel here, then you can do all this from here. Also, there are more options available like print transaction, choosing financial year and if you want to go to the last financial year, then here you can change the working data by going to the financial year. Here you can change the user, branch, date and so on. Next option here is tools. With this option, you can change the setting of the database or to design the barcodes. Or you can also schedule email or SMS from the schedule SMS or email option. After this, from the help menu, click on about us, then your license details will be shown to you. Then you can check how long your license is valid as well as key number, registration number and more. Here the option of shortcut keys is also available if you want to avoid working with the mouse and if you want to use a keyboard then you can check the shortcut keys by clicking on them. Now by clicking on the exit button from the exit menu, if you want to close the software, then you will get the backup of the software automatically or you can close directly. You can change the user with the change user option. If you need to shut down or restart the system through software, you can also do it from the option available here. So these were the features of the software with which you can work. Now let's move on to the detailed part. If you want to create a sales invoice then you can do it from the sales option or you can also open it directly from the desktop by double clicking on the created shortcut. Now the sales window will open here. Here you will be getting all the options like new, save, print, draft and so on. Apart from this Tabs are also being shown in the upper side like Home, View, History, Review, References, Option, Reports and Master Data. To generate a sales invoice, first you have to create the customer name's master data. You can create a new name directly here by customer name. Now click on the new button and press enter. A window will open. Here you can add customer details like customer name, address, phone number, locality, PIN code, payment mode, credit days limit, overdue days and credit limit. Along with this, you can also add information like GST details, posting account, refer by, email ID and so on. Then by clicking on the additional details, you can add customer's PAN number, license number and more. The price list option is also available here. You can also set up the pricing of products for particular customers. After clicking on save here, it will be created in the customer invoice. Suppose you have entered Ram Pharma here and now if you want to fill in complete information then you can save it by adding complete information here. 
This will create a customer master here. Then by entering in the direct product column, whatever product you are selling to this customer, you will enter the name of that product. And if you want to create a new product, then you can add a new product by clicking on new from the same column. Suppose you want to create a bill for this product, then click on enter. If there are multiple batches of this particular product, then you can select the batch number. Then after entering the expiry date and all the details will be filled automatically. Then add quantity and enter. Same if you want to give a free quantity, then add free quantity here. If you want to add a trade discount, then you can do that too. Here already added product, tax will be added to the tax. Still, if you want to change, you can do it by clicking on drop down. If you have to add multiple products, then that can be added from here. Then keep clicking on entering and start adding add product quantity. Then you can take out the print by clicking on the print button or you can press alt plus p. To save the invoice, click on the save button or else press alt plus s. Here all the menus are available in the menu bar. By clicking on the view button, you can print the print barcode with print options. Then you can change the settings by clicking on the header layout or grid layout. Or you can also change the layout by right clicking on the page and clicking on the set grid layout. If you want to check the bills, you can open the bill by opening month wise, date wise, entry wise, current year wise and etc. After this, the history option is available here to check customer and product history. Here review option is also available so that if you want to change batch number, trade discount etc. you can do it from here. Similarly by clicking on all these tabs you can make changes like by clicking on the reports tab the main reports can be checked from here. After generating the bills as soon as you click on the save button the page will be saved. The next option is sales order sales return. If you want to generate any order then click on sales order. Then enter the product by entering the name in the name section. After entering the quantity and clicking on save, the page will be saved. Here the process for all the entries are same, whether it is sales credit note, sales credit note service invoice, etc. Here you have to enter the customer name by opening the sales return. Then select the return type like expired, damaged, received short and so on. Then the product details will be filled in automatically as soon as you enter the invoice number. Then you can save the invoice by clicking on the save button which will make the product return successful. You can also create a sales credit note with the same process. If you have multiple orders created and want to convert them into invoice then you can click on invoice to convert order. Here all the options are available in the sales menu. I hope you must have found this video useful. So this was the process related to the sales menu, which is helpful in business growth along with managing inventory. In the next video, we'll get to know about the rest of the process including the purchase menu. If you have any questions or suggestions, please tell us by commenting below. Thank you.